What is going on you guys? Team Budget here and today we have Brian and he's gonna show us what deck? Salads, of course. And tell him what you did. Tell him what you did yesterday. Uh, first place in the tournament. Uh, what type of tournament? Uh, regular, regular events tournament. <laughs> yeah, but it was a box tourney. Oh, box tourney. Yeah, yeah box, box tourney, tourney, bro. Box tourney. Yeah, so Stakes the box tournament. High. Uh, yeah, just uh, took it with salads, of course. And um, it was kind of free, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, first round was a buy. <laughs> Shout out to Michael. Uh, free, free to always. I feel like it was a buy. And then, uh, yeah, I just needed a challenge. Shout out to Jonathan. You should have been there. Yeah. Uh, I needed a challenge. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, the opening's gonna be up in his channel. You know, it's gonna be in the description. So if you guys wanna see that. Yeah. And um, yeah, right so anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to uh, say? No, nah, just nothing. Just get right into the profile. All right, sure. So, one gazelle, two spinny, two foxy, double jack, and then Falco. This is the, according to the Santa Maria group, this is the correct uh, ratio. If you don't play this amount, you're wrong. I feel like if you play less, you're also wrong. If okay. you play more, you're wrong. If you play less, I think you're wrong also. So mm -hmm. that's it. All right, all right. Triple debug, you know. Triple debug now. Obviously. Uh, yeah, there's a one card, one card OTK if you can pull it off. But uh, what, what happened to a uh, little Buffalo? Buffalo, he's he's still good. Uh, I want to run him again, but uh, so far triple debug has been doing me good. Like I don't, I don't need the I don't, I don't think I need Buffalo yet, but I do want to test him out again. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, triple debug. Okay, okay. Uh, triple parallel exceed. Obviously, it's. Completely broken, makes Super this deck broken. so yeah. much more better. And then uh, for the hand traps, triple ash, triple new guru, and then I changed the ratio up to triple phantasmi. Why? Uh, Why? I, I had played double Vader, double phantasmi, and uh, I I liked phantasmi so much, it was doing me so much work that uh, I decided to play triple. So I took out the two Vaders, I put in the triple, and I wanted to test it out, and it was really, really good. Uh, I get to draw into my stuff, I get to draw into my combos, and then game two and three, I get to draw into my side cards, which actually helped me win the game. I summoned Fantasmi and I drew my side cards, and I just blew out the game from there. It was amazing. So, nice. Triple Fantasmi has been nice. working yes, yes. amazing. Okay. Nine hand traps? Yeah, nine hand traps for the spells. One sanctuary. Uh, spell, One circle, circle. Uh, triple mining, obviously, double will, and a reborn. Uh, I wanted to play some good extenders, uh, just cause if I want, if I get in root, I didn't want to, I didn't want to get stuck. So I, I decided to go with double will and a uh, reborn. Mm -hmm. It was just something I wanted to test out and it's been, it was, it was pretty good. Uh, might cut the reborn, but I haven't tested enough to, to decide yet. So, but other than that, it's, it's still a good card. So, okay. Yeah. And then, uh, triple pot. You know, try to, I'm trying to draw to my yeah, yeah. my cards. And hopefully not banish yeah. <laughs> the, the, wrong, the right ones. Is it for the spells, uh, for traps, triple infirm. Broken. Uh, one and one. Uh, so why did you change one. the ratio from last time? Uh, I just don't like drawing traps uh, going second. I'd rather mm -hmm. draw hand traps. But uh, I do miss the 2-1. I'd rather play 2-1, but uh, this is just a more optimal, like, ratio like i just don't want to draw traps for my second it's just it's so it's so bad it could have been like another extender it could have been a hand trap that could have stopped your opponent so i think one of one is uh it's is like the best and then for last trap uh great previous trap holes how did like, this work out uh it was a uh, pretty good it was alright. like i i i had the chance to summon rafflesia but i didn't and i uh, ended up fighting me that was a misplay on my part uh, I hard drew once and then I set it and then next turn my opponent tried Nibiru and then I just negated it so this card is really good and Even burn. if you hard draw it's not that bad for that reason because you can yeah. set it and you still negate something But uh, yeah, uh, still testing it out. I like it. I just don't like getting Nibiru because that's this deck's worst enemy, Nibiru <laughs> So uh, yeah, it's it's good. I still need to test it more, but uh, I'm happy with the build uh, For the extra deck, I play Triple, obviously, triple and double. Standard. Standard, yeah. Uh, Splash Mage is for uh, to extend plays to go into. It's a, it's a one card spinny um, uh, access code target. Uh, so then, Jammer, Chance Code, the access code target, best package in the game. It's so good. Nice. Eh? Broken, LTK. Did you summon access, access code target? Yeah, I summoned it like once. 
definitely. But it, it, it really didn't like. I didn't have the game, so like, I still lost the game. But uh, I didn't use it, surprisingly. <laughs> but uh, it's obviously like too broken. It's just a, it's a con, it's an OTK. But uh, this one I actually didn't go into it, hmm. which is uh, pretty surprising. Uh, and then the rank four is Dweller, Paguska, and Raphazio for the Gravedigger Strapo. I didn't play Lingaribo because I wanted to try out the Raphazio. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's pretty good. Like, I, I didn't really miss Lingaribo, but it's, it's a good card. I was really debating on putting it back before the tournament. But um, nah, I just wanted to. I went with my gun and played Raphazio, and it worked out pretty well. So that's for the extra deck, and then for the side deck, uh, Triple Veiler. Uh, you know, going second, want to go into yeah. more hand traps. Uh, I started this like almost every game, it's so good. And the one random DD Crow because I have one <laughs> extra space yeah. and I didn't have the cards I needed, so that's just I just threw it in there. Yeah, uh, double cyclone and twin twister. Uh, I was missing a cyclone, so I put twin twister in, you know, same thing. Yeah, but um, this definitely is a, it's a cyclone, okay, and then. Triple different dimension ground. I didn't slide it in, but uh, for most for some decks, you just your opponent can't play. So I I, I run that triple emily for back row, and uh, it's just a great card. Uh, won me a game, so it's like really good. Going second, and then for the last card, it's a uh, double summon limit. That was supposed to be I was supposed to run uh three, so the DD Crow would have been the third one. Yeah. So since I didn't have the draw one, I put in the DD Crow. But someone is going first, uh, you just set up your board and you just summon it in. On your opponent's turn, they can't really get over your board. So, uh, yeah, see, that's, uh, that's the deck. Nice Did well. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, try out the Reflexia package. It's, it's pretty good. But, uh, yeah. I uh, really like this build. So and There you go. You had YGO Penguin here. Yeah, yeah. His, his channel is going to be in the, in the description. I'm going to link it. So, if you guys want to go check out his channel, he's going to be putting stuff out there. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, like the, like video. the video, drop a comment, try it out, try try his deck out, see see if it works out for you. And with that being said, keep it budget, and I'll see you guys next time.